Hello everybody, my name is Brandon Ivey and this is a very to uh, topic that's real dear to my heart. I know I titled this video The Death of MLM as we know it, but before I talk about that I want to also say that MLM and the network marketing industry has done very well for me. You know, I've been going on almost 19 years at the end of this year in this industry. I got started at 22 years old right out of college. My very first company was ACN, greatest training in the world that they provide. I didn't make much money at that time, but the skills that I know today came from there. But I stuck, stuck to it, stuck to it, kept learning, kept learning new skills. And as a result, I was able to walk off my job and retire at the age of 34, 35 years old. I've been a top promoter and producer in every company I've been a part of for the last 10 years. Regional Vice President, Black Diamond, you name it. I've been all of those. Even got to the point where I was invited to be corporate staff on several companies and I was Vice President of Sales and Marketing of my last company. So I know the industry inside and out from somebody that's never made money, from a top leader in the field, to be even being on the corporate side. And I gotta tell you, and this is normal course in history, that over time, over the decades, the industry changes. The industry, you need to adapt. Today's network marketing is not like it was back in the 50s when Amway first got started and then Mary Kay and all the rest came on. ACM was the first transformational company to come into the new century, dealing with telecommunications, dealing with technology. But now, because of the internet, network marketing as we know it, MLM as we know it, is dead. The people that, uh, that are first to figure it out are everybody in the field. I'm not talking about the top leaders, the top earners. I'm talking about the average person that's just looking for a way to earn some extra money from home. Looking for a way to add an extra income on top of what they're working on their job. They are finding it increasingly difficult to attain that dream of financial freedom. See, the whole point is that to eliminate that you're working a nine to five job meaning that you're trading time for money and if you stop working what happens to your income it stops the dream of network marketing is you do something one time and get paid on it over and over and over again that's called residual income in today's age there is no more residual income it's gone unless you establish yourself decades ago and you're still living off of that organization today right now today the number one way for top leaders, in fact there's two of them, there's only two ways for top leaders to earn good income in MLM today. Number one is commissions based on fast start bonuses, meaning that they join a company, they've got the influence to bring 5, 10, 15, 20,000 people within the next six months to a year. And they earn the fast start bonus from that which could be significant, it could be seven figures for some of them. The second way is to get a signing bonus, for them to join and hop around from company to company and that signing bonus could be anywhere between $10,000 to $100,000. I've been offered six figures just to join a network marketing company and to pledge my allegiance to them for at least a year. So if that's happened to me, I know it's happened for people much bigger than me. And when that contract runs out, they jump ship and they go to another company. Those are the only two ways. Here's why. Because the internet gives people options now. See, when I first joined in network marketing, we didn't have access to multiple companies because we didn't have the internet. We didn't have webinars and presentations. We had to get up out of our house on a Thursday night after work and drive to a hotel to see a presentation. We had to go to a hotel on Saturday morning to get trained. We had to give up our time to do so. And we didn't hear about a competition or any other companies out there. And if you were struggling, you only had two choices to make. The first choice is to quit and go back to your nine to five job. The second choice is to put your head down, become delve into personal development, learn more about skills on how to market your business, and give yourself three to five years to succeed, even if you fail for two years. Those are the only two options. Today, <laughs> we have a whole lot more options today. If you're struggling in your company, you're not gonna quit and go back to your nine to five job. But you don't have to learn the skills necessary to become better. Why? Because you can just go on Facebook and see somebody posting about some new company that's launching, that's promising you to make more money, and you ain't got to do nothing. The grass is greener on the other side of the fence. And you end up losing, either you leaving or your downline leaves on you. So all that work you put in on building that person up and training them, you now gave them training for them to go join another company. And they're off to the next. 
And then when they struggle over there, which they will, they're off to the next because there'll be another company promising riches. And they, it's a musical chairs and it hops around. And as you as the leader, what you end up doing is every three to six months you have to rebuild your team to maintain what you have. That's what I've been doing for the past four years. Rebuilding just to maintain what I have and not getting to the next level and the next level and the next level. The only networkers today in the United States that this doesn't necessarily apply to you is if you have an international organization that's exploding and they don't even know you exist. Because the international community is still a good 10 years behind what's happening in the United States when it comes to network marketing and MLM. So you've got a couple of years that you can still go down that path. But for the rest of us, we don't have that time, that luxury any anymore. So two things are going to happen for you as a choice. Either the industry itself is going to need to adapt and change, especially with the new laws of the FTC stating that 50% of your volume needs to come from customer acquisition. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I seriously doubt you're going to be able to earn a full-time income from just selling the product yourself unless you become freaking Walmart or Costco or you sign up big chains as moving huge amounts of volume yourself. That's not going to happen. The number one way we've made money and we always made money has come from recruiting. Let's be real. Let's be honest. Let's not fake the funk. And if you can't build a team in an organization, you're not making a full-time income. <laughs> and I heard, well, I got people on my team, what, one out of 100,000 is doing it? Because they got a contract with the local nail salons or the no local juice companies? How many people is able to do that? The number one way is recruiting, and it always has been, and it always will be. Not the fact that you're just recruiting, but you're also earning from the customers that they acquire as well. And there's nothing wrong with that. I am not indicting that. I am just stating a fact. So the industry is going to have to adopt in some form. Or the second option is, it is time to move to a new industry. Where you could take your network marketing skills and really thrive. And I'm here to tell you that new industry today is called cryptocurrency. And that's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to promote a business. I'm not going to promote an opportunity. I am just talking about the industry as a whole. The cryptocurrency industry is the new version of network marketing. Every single network marketing company today will be involved in cryptocurrency because they're going to start paying out commissions and accepting payments in cryptocurrency. They're going to start using the blockchain technology. They're going to start using Bitcoin. So one way or another, the entire industry is going to be involved. But you're going to have to start to change your mindset. Because the people that's going to make the most money, you don't even have to recruit anybody at all. You're going to have to learn about investing. You're going to have to learn about trading. You're going to have to learn about the cryptocurrency market, the blockchain. How to let your money work for you. And those of you that can recruit will end up making even more. That's the way of the new industry. That's where this is leading to. I'm one of the first people to come out here and talk about it and say it. But 2018, watch. All the top leaders you know of in these other companies, they're going to start saying the same thing I'm saying today. I just figured it out early. So that's it. I'm not indicting or putting down MLM at all. All I'm saying is that it is changing and it is adapting and you need to adapt with it. Recognize what's taking place. Get your ego out the way. And let's make some money together. My name is Brandon Ivey. See you next time. Bye-bye.